Hi, welcome to a brand new Simply Maya tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating the simulation you can see in front of you. Now, we're going to use four of Maya's main simulation engines. We're going to be using Bullet Physics, we're going to be using Bifrost, we're going to use some N Dynamics, and finally, we're going to finish off with some fluids here. So really our purpose in this was to create an entire dynamics pipeline and then get all the elements to interact with each other. So we're going to have the bullet physics interact with the bifrost. As you can see, our chunks of tower drop into the water. We're then going to use end dynamics to add some extra detailing to our simulation quickly. We're then going to finish off with Maya fluids to create this smoke. So we're going to start out by learning how to shatter geometry in Maya with precision. Um, if you've ever used Maya's inbuilt shatter, you'll know that it's not really up to much. So we're going to explore some techniques for the precise shattering of geometry. We're then going to look at bullet physics for how to make that move when we hit it with something. We'll then look at Bifrost. And we'll then finally look at Maya fluids for the dust. Uh, you can probably see it here. So this tutorial will go over not only the simulation dynamics engines involved, it'll also cover the interaction between them. So we hope by the end of this tutorial you'll have enough working knowledge of bullet physics, end dynamics, bifrost and Maya fluids this model started with the thing that looked like they really wanted to have a, the entire explore a variety of different things. We're going to look at my said at some quick good hard surface you being so I'm building for this one being everything in here part enough to uh, fracture some light really. We're going to watching at some texture baking for turning high res geometry into low res.